Now, we might have given you the impression that a cultural district is all highbrow, highfalutin stuff for grown-ups, but that's not necessarily the case. We're in Bumbershoot Children's Theater. Frank, this is a great space. This is a fantastic space. We've actually just transformed our space into a pirate ship well, for I our see, next you're, production. You're looking very piratical. Yes, but... absolutely. I, uh, I play Captain Braidbeard in our, uh, our new production of How I Became a Pirate, which is running this weekend. And uh, we'd like to uh, maybe make you an honorary pirate for the show. Oh, can I? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so right. uh, why don't we just give you the jacket first of all? Oh, epaulets. <clears throat> all right. So uh, how long has Bumbershoot been around? We are actually going into our fifth season this year. Uh, we are just finishing off our, our uh, last show of the fourth season. Season five starts in January with our first show of Alexander's No Good, Terrible, Horrible, Very Bad Day. That sounds a real, familiar. A real mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we are uh, looking at, uh, you know, just expanding our programming a little bit next year and uh, doing some more programs for kids. We've got, uh, we've got instructional classes for children as well as uh, we run a, an apprenticeship program for uh, teens here in the city. So you can help other people learn how to become a pirate. Absolutely, so, absolutely. And last but not least, we want to give you the hat as well, just to make sure that you're a, a true pirate. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. So if people want to see how I became a pirate, no, no, how I became a pirate. How I became a pirate. And that's on this weekend. It's on this weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, you there. How was that? How was that? It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And our last stop on the tour of Kelowna's cultural district is right here in this beautiful 1960s New York apartment. Well, we're not really in New York, of course. We're on the set of Barefoot in the Park, Kelowna Actor Studio's latest production. This is a funny show. It is very funny. Neil Simon's best and uh, a lot of fun. A lot of our original cast from 10 years ago were remounting it. So uh, we've got them here and it's been going over amazingly well. Now you say 10 years because this is your 10th season. Yeah, 10th anniversary. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, from four shows a year now to 10 shows a year wow. we do. So uh, with over 25,000 people coming through the doors, so it's really exciting. And of course, Barefoot is our first offering, and then we have Miracle on 34th Street, the musical, which is already at 3,000 tickets. So That's a it's big, exciting. gonna be a big Christmas show? Yeah, very big, big cast, 38 people, uh, a lot of music, a lot of dancing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. How does it feel to be standing here on this stage knowing that you know 10 seasons have gone by with the incredible talent and great stories that, that have happened here. There's been a lot of great stories, and I think the main thing is the Clone Actor Studio family has really come together in great times and bad times, and we've really supported each other. And I think my favorite moment is seeing these kids grow up. We've got kids in New York now working professionally. We have kids at Sheridan College, uh, Jillian Reed, who was our Eliza and My Fair Lady. And I think that's the favorite moments for me, is working with the kids, seeing them grow up, and uh, the comradeship that we all have together.